When we're instructing the patient to get on the chair, we do want to be very careful. Obviously, this is a chiropractic office. We see athletes, we see uh, children, we see geriatric, walkers, canes, wheelchairs, you name it. So we have to use the utmost caution when putting them on the chair. So depending on the mobility and gait, carriage and gait of the patient, will determine how we get them on the chair. So the safest way is to unlock at the chair, have it all the way in the back position, and that way the chair cannot move. So let's go have you have a seat on the chair and then instruct the patients to put their feet on the dowel. We're gonna go over the lateral cervical. So I'm going to turn the patient by loosening that and raise the bucky up. We're gonna get the bucky close because we're ultimately going to line it up with the two, but this is just getting us close to where we wanna be. So what we're going to do is, if the patient has longer hair like this, instruct the patient just to go ahead and move your hair back behind your shoulder if you could please, like that. There we go, so we have good access to the side of the neck. Then we're going to move the tube up. And where we want to be, obviously here's the atlas fossa. So I'm going to move the patient forward just a little bit like that. So that way we get the entire curve in there, but right directly over the atlas. Then we're going to line the horizontal mark up with that, and that completes the lateral cervical. Now in this position, the patient has a right head tilt. We're gonna tilt the tube to match that head tilt. So it'll be important to be kind of behind the patient, obviously in a level like this, like that. Then what we may have to do is slide the patient slightly to the left, because in this instance, we're tilting the bucky to match that tilt. So it'll be something about like that. And then line everything back up because things points have moved slightly. So in this particular instance, just like that. And you'll notice what we have done is match the patient's head tilt to fit that exact angle. So that way when we do our upper cervical analysis, everything is flat on the film for proper analysis. Next, we're gonna go over the flexion view. So we've already had everything preset from the lateral, lateral. What we're simply gonna do is have the patient tuck their chin down to their chest or looking down toward the floor. Then we're going to, in most cases, lower the tube to mid-cervical. It's not necessary to palpate the cervical spine out, but just get it to mid-cervical. And you'll notice we'll have to usually lower this down three, anywhere from three to four inches and line it up simply on the notch.